YouTube. Arizona RE. And this does not look like Tucson. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe what a treat I have for you. A buddy of mine, familiar to most of you, there he is right there in my rearview mirror, riding his tiger. Arizona Desert Dog joining us. We're going to do a little camp out. Talk about some history and uh, enjoy some good company. So we'll catch you as we get closer to the to the camp. waypoints so we're both golden that would be ideal camp 2 and camp 3 are actually closer to us I was being confident in this in this GPS I only put the one camp <laughs> Gardner Canyon. jump hey I actually did <laughs> I goosed it right as I got to it well YouTube here we are we're on the dirt I'm uh, I'm letting the expert between us lead the way <laughs> AZ Desert Dog has got a lot more time on the dirt than I do nowadays and uh, from my past experience on dirt, it was not with a big old heavy bird like this. So he's taking it easy on me. Well, until right then, he's Gonzo's. <laughs> sun I can't see anything the sun in your dust <laughs> not quite enough to get air but maybe on the way back <laughs> with the way those are ramped Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's been years since I've been out here. <laughs> oh yeah, 
that's right, because over here to the left is the uh, the Apache Spring Ranch. So when you look at how pretty and how beautiful this area is, did you did you look at any of the history about this place? Up out here in southern Arizona, Gardner Canyon, you get to wonder why some of these canyons get named what they do. And uh, Gardner Canyon uh, was named after <laughs> Mr. Gardner, and I can't remember if it was uh, it, the name David Gardner stands out, uh, but Mr. Gardner, he was also the founder of Lokeel, which is a border town and was is a closed border crossing uh, south of here and is now used for lots of smuggling but if you look at this genuine american ranch right here on our left if you just look at that for a minute holy crap you got some longhorn steer out there and he eventually settled in this area and that was his ranch and on the back side of his ranch he built a barracks for the uh for the army because of all the Apache raids that he suffered through. And it's it's claimed that uh, Cochise actually shot him. That he was actually shot by Cochise at one point. He survived. But he was an old miner that came into the area and when the mining played out He decided to settle in and make ranching a, a big deal. And as much trouble as he had with the Apaches, it's kind of funny because they um, they did a lot of trading with them, you know. Oof! <laughs> Real happy I upgraded the skid plate there. Nice to know that it's still on there. <laughs> rocky, rocky. Can't see that. Yeah, this is the creek walk, or the creek crossing. Lead the way. So this is Gardner Canyon and Thomas Gardner. That's who it was, Thomas Gardner. Yes, sir. Thomas Gardner is the guy who uh, this has been named for. And uh, he uh, lived out here with uh, the Mexicans and Apaches banging on his door. 
on a regular basis, and he got ticked off with that, so he called the U.S. Army in. They built a little, uh, little you know, fort type thingy here, and uh, he had them guys protect him for a little while. He stayed here until um, 1896. He uh, built a nice little spread down by Apache Creek, and uh, it seems funny that he would. Uh, not like the Apaches that moved to Apache Creek. It seems like you're inviting them. Or he named his ranch Apache Point. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he uh, moved out of here about 1896 with his family. I think he went to California. But uh, he uh, had a pretty beautiful area to live. And uh, we're uh, catching up to camp here pretty quick. <coughs> yeah, there's a couple of them in here, huh? <laughs> and the creek is right there. If we had filters, we could do our own water. Side, baby, back and forth, got it above and the devil below him. You got your reasons, I got my one. You got that feeling, but I'm too old. Well, good morning, YouTube. Arizona RE here and uh, AZ Desert Dog. We just finished up our, uh, our first night's camp in here in Gardner Canyon. And take a look around. This place is pretty sweet. place is just magnificent you have to understand if you're from back east or something like that places that have water are very rare and hard to find around here even a little stream like this is precious so being able to camp less than 30 yards from this that was a treat and these are places you can't get to unless you're out adventuring you know you so thanks to AZ Desert Dog for uh, asking me to head out on a trip this weekend. So it's pretty cool. We got a lot more planned. Ghost Town after Ghost Town after Ghost Town coming up. And uh, yeah. Meanwhile, you guys have another look around at our campground, and we'll be out on the road real soon.
After you, sir. Yo, Adrian, it's a little rocky over here. You probably never hear that, do you?